Hello everyone, this is Jin Teacher again from Reading Town. Let's look at our article for today. Today our article is, Why do earthquakes happen? So, not a long time ago, not, not too long ago, we had an earthquake here in Korea. Uh, some people that I know said that they felt it, but I was teaching and I didn't really feel it. So, earthquakes happen all over the world and we really don't know why or when they will happen. So, let's look at what this article will teach us. It says, the ground is shaking. That's what happens in an earthquake, right? It is an earthquake. Why does an earthquake suddenly tremble? Suddenly means all of a sudden, without warning, it happens. Just like that, that's suddenly. And tremble, yes, tremble means to shake. So, the earth suddenly trembles. Why does it do that? Well, our earth is made up of four layers. So, layers is more than one part. Okay? So in the winter, we wear many layers. I have a t-shirt, then I have a shirt, then I have a jacket. So there's three layers. Same thing with the earth. There's multiple layers or different uh, parts. Uh, the first part is the inner core. Also, we have the outer core, the mantle, and the crust. Our earth has four layers. Okay? The crust uh, is the outer layer. So it is like the Earth's skin. So the crust is the top layer, what we can see. About 20 fragments called plates. Fragments are different pieces. So if I take a plate and I drop it, it's going to break apart into different fragments. Okay? So there's 20 fragments called plates make up the crust. So the outer layer is made up of different plates, right? different parts called plates. Also, uh, the plates slowly move around, sliding and bumping into each other. So these plates are gigantic. On top of these plates, we have different countries. And on top uh, uh, of these plates are the countries, and these countries are on these plates that kind of move around and slide very slowly. They bump into each other, right, at times. The plates can get stuck. So sometimes when two plates come, they can kind of push against each other and get stuck. But they keep moving and break apart. This causes an earthquake. So where does the earthquake come from? Uh, it comes from the top layer of our earth, which is called the, the crust. And from the crust, uh, these plates constantly move around and sometimes they bump into each other, they crack open, and that's what causes the earthquake. So if you look at the picture, we see the different layers. The crust is at the top. Okay, and another picture of the aftermath, what happens after an earthquake. So earthquake can be very devastating, it can be very scary, and it can destroy a lot of things. So this is why earthquakes happen. The crust, the plates, the different plates are moving around and bumping into each other. So let's look at our questions for today. Whoa, well, look at this picture. These are people who are protecting their heads uh, from falling debris or from falling uh, objects like trash or pieces of the ceiling or anything falling during an earthquake. So that's an earthquake tip that you should remember too. Always cover your heads. Go to a place where there isn't anything that might fall on you. So this is a picture that reminds us uh, of the dangers of an earthquake. Uh, let's look at question A. Earth is made up of layers. So what kind of layers? How many layers? Do you remember? Is it two layers? four layers, okay? And the outermost top layer uh, where the earthquake, where the plates move, is called the crust. Remember that. The crust is like the Earth's, we talked about it, the Earth's skin. So it's the outermost layer. Uh, it's not like the bone where it's inside, but the skin is the outer layer. Let's look at the last question. About 20 fragments called something make up the crust. So I use this example if I drop the what? And that's what it's called. It's called the plate, right? So all these different plates, about 20 of them, they're all over the world and they're not in one piece. These plates are moving around because there's so much heat underneath in the next layer. So four layers, the Earth's skin, which is the crust, and 20 fragments called plates. Let's look at the colored words and which one is appropriate for the sentence, which one is correct. So let's look at the first sentence. The plates slow move around. Mm -mm. The plates slowly move around or the plates slowing move around? I think if we need uh, a word that describes how, we need an adverb. And L-Y usually tells us that that is an adverb. So the plates, how do they move around? They slowly move around. That's a good adverb. Let's look at B. The plates slide and bump into each other. 
plate slide and bumps into each other or bumping into each other? What do you think? They slide and there is no tense on the slide, so there should not be a tense on the bump. So they uh, slide and bump into each other. So they slide and they bump. Okay, let's look at the last one. The plates keep moving and breaking apart, keeps moving and breaking apart, or keeping moving and breaking apart. So we know that the ing doesn't sound right. Keeping moving, no. The plates keeps, so because it's more than one, plates, we cannot use keeps. So it would be the plates keep moving around. So today we learned about earthquakes. Why do they happen? We didn't really learn about what you should do except for that picture, cover your head, go somewhere where there is nothing that may fall on you and get hurt. But we learned about how do they happen or why do they happen. We learned that it happens in the crust. The earth is made up of four different layers and these plates that keep moving. So now you know. So next time uh, you feel like there's an earthquake, get some shelter. But you also know it's because the plates are moving. The more you know, the more you can be aware. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. I'll see you around again next time. Goodbye everyone.